Hi guys, we have uh, the Aga rates nowadays, and I was searching if um, level 50 Machem is uh, it's useful, but then I was thinking maybe Shadow 1, how effective it will be for level 50 Machem. The DPS times TDO is about 7,257. And for Shadow Machem, I was checking about... 38 and this number it's more than 8000 it's actually stronger than at the end it's actually stronger than level 50 regular machem so i made um, level 50 machem the regular one on the left and level 38 uh, shadow one on the right and i can uh, make comparison here Diaga on the right is 2274, Diaga on the left is 2273, uh, so it's really similar. And Machamp, here uh, we can count how many counters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it took 9 moves. So the regular one was 9 moves counter, so this one... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Actually, I overpowered. So anyway, so Shadow 1, maybe the, the HP left. The Shadow 1 is lower because the level is lower. But then it killed the, the Aga even faster. So, okay. So it's level 38, Machamp did more damage than level 50 Machem, regular one. Or you, could, you can catch even level 35, the best case, and make it level 50 for Machem. It costs 338k Stardust, right? If if the level is lower, it's it's worse, right? The Shadow Machem is 8 or 13. If, if it's weather boosted, it's 13. But if it's 8 and... If I make it 38, it costs 225k. So non-shadow level 50 is 338k. If it's same level, it's even more. So if it was Pokemon level 8 and it's like 500k, while the shadow one costs about just 225k. So basically you can make two shadows. For level 50 Machem, regular Machem. While the damage, the Shadow One is better. So Shadow One, Raising Shadow One is actually cheaper than regular Machem. That's so interesting. Well, after level 30, level 40, the, the cost of Stardust goes like exponential. So my conclusion at the end is probably so if you make Shadow 1 level 30 to 40 level and it's it swings over the regular one level 50, maybe it's not that tanky, but then it also can uh, finish raid easier, faster. So level like rule of thumb, probably level 40 shadow stronger than level 50 regular. And by doing that, you save Stardust. This Shadow Machem is not perfect, but then it still wins over the regular Machem. And the reason why it's stronger is... Okay, the Shadow one has 20% damage more, right? But at the end... So you're uh, using it against the Aga, the damage is actually... 1.6 times. So even though actually it's 20% stronger than regular Machamp, if you subtract, if you multiply 1 times 1.6, so 32% is the actual damage difference. For case, if it's like super effective twice, then it will be 1.2 times 1.6 times 1.6. Minus 1.6 times 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 1.
times 1.6, right? So it's multiplied it twice. The damage difference is actually 51% between regular and the shadow. So shadow one, same level, 50% stronger. How about the damage it gets? Okay, if Diaga uses Iron Head, it will be 0.625 times damage, right? To uh, the fighting type. The shadow one, the shadow one is weaker by 17%. But then actual difference because of less effectiveness, the difference becomes 10.6%. If it's double less effective, it will be 0.625 times 0.625 and 0.625 here too. And the difference becomes 6.64%. So because you're when you're doing raid, you bring something effective in damage and gets less damage usually so when it's super effective twice you, shadow one gives 51 percent more damage and it only receives 6.6 percent more damage from the other side the raid boss so shadow one is overpowered actually not 20 percent but 51 percent that is big difference you do um, mega boost, it's 30%. You do weather boost, it's 10%. You do best fr best boost, 10%. That becomes 50%. But then, on top of that, if you use mega uh, no, shadow one, it will be 51%. That's why uh, level 38 shadow machem is similar to level 50 machem. So if you, you can compare DPS uh, triple times TDO and check your shadow ones. I find usually 35 level 35 shadow is close to level 50 uh, regular regular uh, Pokemon. So we can check Palgia. Okay, we can check Palgia. Palgia raid is coming soon. So level 50... So if I I need to use Dragon type to uh, win over Palgia, the Fairy one is it's not doing enough damage. So let me check level fifty, and say I use Salamence. Okay, Salamence level fifty. Uh, this CP is four two thirty nine. It does about ten. K 840 DPS times TDO. Okay, we know this number 10, 8, 10 840. About we use shadow one. Okay, I think 36 is is close to level 50 regular elements. Even though the TDO, uh, even though it might die sooner, it does the same damage. DPS Triple times TDO means it is doing this similar damage, like it is it like how much it's effective. So we can check this is level 40 elements for 64%. And the shadow elements could be 35, 35. So it's actually about this level. For me, because the IV is not good, it's about level 40. But it cost about 300k Stardust. Okay, if I had to make Salamence from... Uh, it's even higher CPE, right? But then, if I need to make level 50 Salamence, it cost 500k Stardust. It costs 296 XL candies. But then, okay, the CPE looks different, right? One is 3546, the other is 4239. But then they do the same. <laughs> this cost, the shadow one cost about 300k. The regular cost 500k. But then they at the end, they do the same. Then which one would you invest? Which one would you invest? This, well, well at the end, uh, there will be maybe Mega Salamence. Right? It will be so nice to have mega boost each other and okay that i i get it that one if your level is below 40 
the shadow one is actually affordable if you have Stardust and Candies. If you're not level 40, then you don't have except candy. So level 50 Salamence is not even possible. So, and it costs 500, 500k Stardust, even though you have everything, right? Anyway, you, you see the point, the Shadow, the CP 700 lower, but then at the end it's the same. So people thought raising Shadow is actually expensive. Okay, yes, it is for the same level. But if you see the point where it does the same damage or is effectively doing the same, it's actually cheaper. I, I think not many people know this. The shadow is actually cheaper to the point that doing the same damage. I'm probably using the shadow one, even though it dies soon, maybe if we play with other friends or maybe if you increase the level a little bit higher like it's not this is 30 it's about 40 right but then if i make it like 40 one or two i think hp is similar but then it does more damage it's it does more damage even more than level 50 regular elements and it's still cheaper so it does more damage and it's 100k cheaper, then why why would I not use it, right? I mean, it's good to have, so Raising Shadow is actually good investment. You can check other ones, uh, so Sian coming. This is fairy type, so we want to use Steel type move, right? Okay, so we probably want to use Metagross. Okay, level 50 Metagross will be so expensive, like 500k to make it level 50. You need XL candies. So Metagross about 9,953 DPS and TDO multiplied. Right. Okay, we check. Let's check Shadow 1. Let's check 35. It goes over 10k. So 35... Level 35 Shadow Metagross doing very similar to level 50 Metagross. Level 35. Worst case. Um, okay, let's say if, if you find level 35 Metagross on the field and it's about 338k Stardust and the Shadow Metagross. Worst case eight, and he's still 175k Stardust. This is twice. You can have two Shadow Metagrosses, and it's effective to uh, having two level 50 Metagross. You save. It's almost like lucky. You save the Stardust by half. If it was 100% Metagross, but it was level 1, then it's like 520k Stardust. It's, it, this is so expensive. This is overrated. I, I hope you don't do that. Because you can have Shadow Metagross from level 8 to 35. Doing similar, it's about... It's actually about like one-third the Stardust. You can have three Shadow Metagrosses similar to level 50 Metagross have level 40 uh, shadow metagross this stardust you can make two of regular metagross level 50 but then it's still more powerful than one level 50 meta okay we can check zamazenta and for uh, regular me 2 it's about 16.6k dps time tdo and what would it be for uh, shadow me 2 Shadow me to say, um, okay, let me try 35. So it was 16.6k. And the Shadow me to is 60.9k. So it does similar job. One is regular me to level 50. The other one is Shadow me to 35. That is like level 15 difference, a bit big, but then it does the similar, similar job.
Okay, for Mewtwo, okay, you catch from Raid, it's level 20. To make it 50, it costs 275k Stardust. While to make it Shadow Mewtwo, you catch level 8. And level, make it 35, it's about 175k Stardust. So regular Mewtwo, about 500k. Shadow Mewtwo, about... 180k so you can make three shadow mewtwo doing the same as level 50 regular mewtwo it's 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 a lot of saving starters who thought raising shadow mewtwo is actually saving stardust shadow shadow one is actually saving stardust okay so maybe maybe you think hp not lasting long so I can maybe increase the level a little bit higher. So, okay, maybe 38. It cost 225k Stardust. It's about it's about half of the, the regular Mewtwo level 50. So, Shadow Mewtwo level 38. You can make two, two of them. It does more damage than the regular Mewtwo. You can have two, even though the CP seems low. But it does more damage. You save Stardust by half, or you can have two. It does more damage. Then why would, why would you not make Shadow one and use it? You see the difference. I mean, you can have Shadow Mewtwo higher level. That's better. It will do more damage, even more damage. But it's expensive. In the meantime, when you don't have any XL candies, just having Leg uh, Shadow Mewtwo. About close to level 40 is already stronger than level 50 Mewtwo. You, you see my point, and I hope this is useful. So, for Zamazenta, we can use Shadow Mewtwo or Mewtwo, it's fine too. But okay, for Zacian, we can use Metagross, Shadow Metagross. Uh, close to level 40 is still doing more job than regular Metagross level 50. Maybe it changes. It's good to have level 50 regular Mewtwo because there is Mega Virgin like Me Mega Metagross 2 doing meta Mega Boost each other. That's only case, but until then, still, if you're below level 40, you don't have XL, the Shadow one still overpowers the regular one. CP is not just CP is just number. It seems for uh, compared to shadow ones. I hope this information help and uh, maybe I c I can check if anyone brings shadow ones for Palgia. If you bring shadow dragons, uh, it will be uh, powerful, more powerful, right? Like level thirty five Salamence shadow one is still stronger than level fifty Salamence. So. I hope I see you bring Shadow Pokemon if you have. And we save time in the raid. We do more effective damage and we get more Pokeball and don't lose the legendary Pokemon. So I hope I'll see you uh, next time in the raid hours. And my conclusion today is Shadow Pokemon actually saves Stardust.